on our faces because we get to see something a little bit unique. The first time that Yutoro has ever played Puck in a professional match. It's going to be here. Avery, I swear there was a period of time, maybe like four or five years ago, where in Pro Dota, if you had to do some sort of lane switch up, you would keep the player on the right hero and they would just play a different lane. But lately, I've seen that nobody wants to do that. Everyone wants to stick to their traditional lane, and they will play a different hero instead. In this case, Yutoro is staying to the safe lane, question mark, but he's going to be playing a puck. Oh, I mean, the lane mechanics just went up. Mid laners are just way better at abusing people mid that don't normally play mid. If you send Yutoro mid versus Nisha... So you're saying he can't hack it? I mean, you just don't know. Mm. Also, heroes in Dota have become increasingly more flexible and versatile. Which means, for example, this Puck that's going safe lane, Puck literally has a physical right scaling build now. Yeah. It's not like you have to play some spell casting crazy Puck. Toro can just try and farm and go for the late game Ags, Daedalus, Mjolnir, whatever he wants. Okay. So, I think players are more comfortable just playing anything. And these players are pretty flexible. I mean, Mickey is also a Pankle player. He played that hero a lot mid. Yeah. So he's I, I, comfortable on that. I think it way makes perfect sense on Liquid. That one makes total sense to me. Mickey is a very versatile player. He yeah. used to play mid. He's yeah. played Pango. That makes sense. I, yeah. I'm more questioning the team spirit side of things. Yeah. Because, like, wouldn't you want your puck player to be on the puck, even if he's in the safe lane? Well, I'll I tell feel you like something. puck is a puck player deal, you know? You know what Yatoro plays in pubs? What's he play? Plays a lot of carry. You know what else he plays? Wow, thank you for that revelation, Avery. <laughs> the carry player <laughs> plays a lot of carry and pubs. What's your second revelation? This guy plays a lot of invoker. Okay. You know, you know the thing about invoker. <laughs> that to do with this I'm getting game. there. Let me finish my story. <laughs> you don't think about invoker players? No, they think they can play anything. Ah. Because once you play Invoker, ah. you know, once you bust out the thousand APM, six keyboard clacking, dunking on nerds out there with your blind sun strikes and your miracle level late game spell casting with your 12 tornadoes, 30 EMPs, and 40 ice walls all perfectly placed and synchronization off six refresher shards. Like, what is Puck? It's, it's three buttons. <laughs> of course I can play Puck. Well, it's four. Honestly, you, you probably jumped to the orb. Right? You probably just clicked it first, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got to dodge this matchup, man. You yeah. got to dodge this matchup. It is not a playable matchup. I I get it. I just yeah. I just wanted to get your insight onto because because I'm not wrong, right? There was a period of time where people would just swap. The yeah. Lane. It'd be like the safe laner's like, oh, that's fine. I'm playing the carry here. I'm just gonna play it. Mid <sighs> I think they were just bad though. Just worse Dota. I think then. you should just play the. Yeah, in theory, I think you should play the lane more than the hero. Unless you're some crazy hero specialist. Now, if it was Magnus, right? Uh-huh. You send Collapse mid on Magnus. Right. But, I mean, Law can play that hero. But, I, you know, if it was some other niche hero, <laughs> you get my point. If they could not send the mag, you know, you give, you give it to him. Right. But in this case, is Puck... I'm sure you're talking. Play. He's top CS. He's looking great. Well, that, that really wasn't my concern of how well he would CS it. Ooh. But first blood goes the way of Collapse. Second blood, will it go to Mickey? Gets him with the swashbuckle in the end. Obviously, the advantage still going to Team Spirit, though, with the first blood bounty. So the thing about these lanes that also let them do this is they had that Undying. They picked this Undying versus the first phase brew. They kind of knew that whoever's up here is going to have a free laning phase. So I think that helped them make this decision. Okay, maybe Yotoro is not the greatest puck player in the world, but if he has a free lane. Saw that ping mid. It is helps. low health sniper. And he, he pinged it. Bullied. He was like, Mira, if Boys, you're dead, oh, just TP mid. We'll kill this guy. That feels really bad. Right? I mean, now the, the scale of how well this puck has to pop off is... <laughs> It's dropping considerably, you know? With every sniper death, Yotoro, he's thinking, damn, I may not even have to show up in this. <laughs> I mean, th this pick was picked to decimate the puck, and you play off that. Okay, don't look at his quick buy. What is Yotoro going to build in this game? Let's, let's test your... Uh... 
oh, theory that's actually crafting, tricky, I but I feel like he's having a very free lane. He's probably just gonna go Maelstrom first. Radiance top tower is under attack. Is that what he's going? I don't know. Not, oh, you don't even know. Why are you asking me? I thought it was like trivia or something. He's gonna go Maelstrom first. Good oh, job. damn. Oh, my, my analyst oh. knows some things. Oh, haters and shambles. <laughs> 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 no, I, I've seen him play pubs on some of these spellcaster type dudes. Yeah. And traditionally, they, they thrive with the early Maelstrom just because, I mean, you kind of swap them when you know you're going to have a good lane. Other, like, well, okay, if you play safe lane invoker or safe lane puck or something and your lane's garbage, you're just trash because you're splitting the XP. You don't have spells. You you know, you're, you're screwed no matter what. Yeah. When, so you do it when you have like a good game and some dying is gonna give you a good game. You get a fast javelin, you can abuse the lane, you get a maelstrom, suddenly you're farming. The, the item's good on these heroes anyway because they usually have some hybrid attack speed, whatever carry build that they shouldn't have. Ooh, and then you roll. Try to body block to break the spirit siphon in Sania. He'll die. I right, did not have the moves. See, if that was a patch ago, those ogre bruisers would have been stunning somebody there. This <laughs> brawl, man. All of these lanes constantly. Yeah, full wand for 33, though. He's chilling up here. However, Yatoro, he, he is top of the CS chart, man. He is hes having a good one. He's also kind of sad for Boxy. He's, he's on a hero that traditionally wants to not necessarily dominate the lane, but have a good laning phase for himself so he can transition well. And Sundine has proved formidable. This yeah. Approach. Both I mean, these side lanes are very strong for Spirit. And they then another do some, like, creep-pulling shenanigans and stuff. Oh, this is a disaster if Nisha dies again, man. He has no game. TP coming in on the Tier 2. Mickey joining in on this fight to try and help out the Swashbuckle. It's just they first. enough. They do manage to kill Nisha first. They're going to be able to get the kill on Mira on top of that one. But Nisha's game is being ruined. Yeah, this is not what you want out of Sniper. He can function as a comeback hero. He can be a pretty annoying in this game because there's not a huge amount of gap close until way later on when the fucking range are tanky. But damn, this is, I mean, it's not what that, you know, gotcha pick is designed to do. Gotcha yeah. self. It'll be interesting to see how this game pans. I mean, this lane also wasn't that easy for Mickey, but that rotation gets him a lot of gold. And now suddenly he's top of the chart. Death Prophet is... This hero's a menace in the side lane. Yeah. I know there's people complaining about a lot of different stuff all the time in Dota and every patch, but that is that is one hero every time I play against it. I, I do not know how to beat this hero on lane. I, at this point, refuse to believe it's possible. The hero's just gonna free farm there. It, it, you just She siphons you. What do you do? Nothing. Yeah. You can't really win the CS battle because she'll just crit swarm for CS and yeah, harass you. Secure every ridiculous. range creep. And he is having a very good game here. Exorcism is available. They want to try and push it really deep, threaten the tower. Thinking about it, bringing both supports bottom. It's going to be close call here if they want to go for the dive. Mira shows himself, though. Kind of annoying so there hero goes that to dive. Time. Just rolling thunder. Blue split top for Yatoro. He'll get him. So 33. Two for one. I mean, I would say a large part of that is the kill that he was able to get on Undying earlier. Got it solo. Had the experience to get to this early level six oh, to kill the puck. And as a result, will get a double off of it. Yeah, the that's zombies. double. Zombies might Evasion. kill him. Oh. The evasion did not come through in the end. And he's just rushing Orchid on this brew. So they have identified they need to, they need to make this puck's game as hard as possible. They're going to try and shut him down. That's a big kill. Big double kill for the Brew, creating the pressure point. Didn't actually pick up Collapse. Not needed, though. Not with the help of the power shot from Laurel. There's more pressure going into this Sniper's lane, man. Even the Collapse is here now. Did not use that Exo bottom. He's looking to use it mid. This ward from Liquid gives him a lot of security. Man, that's another inventory for 33. You're just looking at it. What is happening here, you know? Reforcing out the exorcism and gets away. Yeah, that was pretty decent. And coming in from behind, Mickey with the Rolling Thunder is going to be able to provide some chain stuns. Nice pickup, though, on the snowball. Uh -huh. It's going to chase after Mickey. This is actually, uh -huh. maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I mean, the ghosts are going to be falling along, doing a lot of damage to Liquid. But the Death Prophet might just die as soon as she comes out of that snowball.
Yeah, I don't think they're getting away from this. Yeah, you got Nisha sitting up on the high ground, ready to rock. He still has his take game ready to go, so... Still has his hat, too. That is very important, yes. I mean, it's a, it's a cool set. It's, it's a pretty good cosmetic, yeah. Gotta talk about it at least once here. It's got a nice hat. Literal hat, in this case. <laughs> Not the figurative hat. Uh. Alright, Insania is back into the game, and we'll see what unfolds here. I feel like Maposhka and Laurel are just going to abandon ship here, and we're going to see Team Liquid clean up too, but we'll see. No, Laurel's going to go back into it. Hit by the Rolling Thunder. Not quite enough to finish up Collapse, but they get him in the end. The heal came through, and it just wasn't enough. Fade Bolt plus Shield Crash. Now Laurel is in a bad, bad spot. I cannot believe he went into that. Might be okay, but it's yeah, going to force enough. him to base, which still kind of sucks here, yeah. as Mickey is going to have a very fast defusal blade. He is just cleaning up this early game. 5-0 and 1. Maybe he's a mid player all along. Well, he was a mid player all along. The best yeah, mid laner in Haunt. Okay. I mean, nice, man. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta diminish other people's achievements, huh? I'm not diminishing his achievement, I'm diminishing Han. <laughs> it's a very stark difference. Well, Han was his achievement. What's this? Is this a replay of the pause? Oh no, it's a fight. <laughs> they got him. What do you think he said there? I have a guess. <laughs> yeah, what's can your we, guess? Can we actually I... replay that Mickey reaction? <laughs> what, what do you think he said there? I don't know. It just looked like oop. Radiance middle oop. Sound is under yeah, that, he made it oop sound. Moxie flying over the shard. That was okay. incredibly underwhelming, actually. Yeah, Coil on to Mickey. A huge big kill. kill if they could get it. The shield crash provides him a little bit of shield, but the Coil just lasts too Damn. long. 470. Boom, baby. <laughs> There's no way he said that. That's what he said, dude. I'm There's telling you. No way. Mickey popping off. Boom, and then he dies. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Look. Mickey's a reserve player, so you gotta. That is not true. Change. You gotta change the bar. He's not a reserved player. Maybe he's reserved in like social situations, but when he's playing the game, he, he pops off. He's that's very. Actually, that's actually true. Yeah, that's true. You got me with that one. I'll concede that point. That's what I thought he said, though. <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> Bring the boom! <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> that was a very unfortunate death, because. He had this super fast defusal, right? If you got another fight off that, then this Pango would have been one, maybe 2k ahead off that one team fight. Yeah. Instead, he goes down, you lose the tower off that. It's a huge amount of gold into the DP and the Puck's pocket because your Toro makes the rotation. Works out for him. You lose your tier one. Now you got to make the smoke after that fact, but Spirit have already made the move, so you're smoking into a team that's already left this portion of the map. It cost you a lot here. And then Nisha's... I mean, he's a sniper. TPing in, but Miro's already sitting there. Also, giving Max, vision to the TP spot. Max Shrapnel build, something to keep in mind. Yeah. If this was the sniper puck matchup, I mean, this man is 0 4 4, 1 4 4, whatever it is, you know, you take an assassinate point, whatever. But he is demolishing the lane and he's providing a lot of fire firepower. He was up against the Ranger, went the Shrapnel to try and mitigate the early game. It is pretty useful in the team fights, but it is a lot less single target physical damage, which, again, not as useful here, but it makes. The Death Prophets game a bit easier. Oh. Yeah. If it really uh, comes to it. I, th I think it makes all of the cores games yeah. easier on the side of Spirit, right? Like, they all don't like that direct punishing yes. single target. Damage. And I don't think they care as much about Shrapnel Slow. You have Puck with Orb, Wind Ranger with Wind Run, DP. I mean, you know, if you die in a Shrapnel. Okay. That's life. Box going to try and recover and. Yeah, it's going to be another smoke move from Spirit. They really want this mid tower open it up. When Sniper loses his tier 1 mid, he is he is in sad land. Nobody wants to go to sad land. How many times have you been to sad land in your lifetime? I've never left it, my friend. <laughs> my mayor of sad land. So te technically, that means I never went there. <laughs> oh, you were born there. That's right. I was <laughs> a citizen of Sadland. <laughs> run! Run, little piggy! 
Yeah, this hurts. They're cooking up pork for dinner here. Team Spirit well behind the Tier 1 tower against a Brewmaster, though, and this Dang. Rolling Thunder. That is a lot of team fight to be playing against. Can they survive through it all? Laurel certainly can't, but they can't change They're past lingering. the Tombstone for now. Yatoro with the flank. He gets the coil on Beautiful everybody. coil on the back line with the rollage straight for the Pango. And trying the to kill this damage dealer. Trying to blow him up before he gets off another swashbuckle. Got off a shield crash. Has the shield. Yatoro with the orb. Finishes him off and gets a Maelstrom proc to finish him. Mira, he tries to limp out. Not going to be the case. Collapse pops his exorcism, but cannot die the Tier 2 tower. In the end, Team Spirit didn't get what they came for. Oh. They got some kills but they didn't get the tower. I mean, Collapse is pretty happy about all this. He pushes to the top of the board, but yeah, they did not get this tier one. Laurel dies. That's a very difficult team fight. 33 is just way too strong here. Orchid debilitating some of the DP impact. And then the second this split goes off, nothing on Team Spirit's side counters this brew split for a long ass time. Maybe if ever in this game until Puck is crazy. I mean, this is quite the call to go back in. I mean, Yatoro had them all, right? It's just yeah. too juicy. If he gets a couple more Maelstrom procs there, you might not get that last swash up. That could look different. But damn, you said this man couldn't play Puck. I didn't say that. And he is showing you that. why you know Making nothing. Making shit up again. <laughs> <laughs> Haters <laughs> in shambles. Blink Dagger Rush for Boxy in this one. I assume just to try and... I mean, there, again, we talked about the single target focus is very good, but assume this is mostly going to be put to use to try and shut down this puck. Who has been him. orchided. Man, they really hating on Yatoro out here. Yeah, this orchid's done some work already. Honestly, it's not looked too bad. Very unconventional build for the hero. Does not have his primal split up. And does not have a way out of that beautiful place shard from Mira. Yeah, I mean, that's the downside of the orc here. This orc, it looks fantastic. <laughs> well, there's... I mean, it's a, it's, it's a super high-risk, high-reward item in this game. Sure. Because it is not very good on Brew. You can't use it in your split. When you use it, you don't really want to split because there's a like, second you're not getting anything. I will not, I will not tell you what he said there. And... <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for broadcast. It's an awkward item for Brew. Yeah. Just, it, it just is. Until the very late. Like, if you get the right click Brew going late and with Bloodthorn, it can be pretty nasty, you know? You can Bloodthorn split into the Brewlings and you're proccing it. That's also pretty nasty. But it's just very high risk, high reward, which is interesting because I feel as though 33 is one of the more conservative itemization players mm. of the last few years. He'll buy the auras, he'll buy the Wraith Pact every game for 50 games in a row until he wants to Wraith Pact his own brains out because he's tired of it. But hey, he won a TI, so he'll keep doing it until Valve deletes the item, you know? Yeah. This is like, this is, you know, this is crazy talk for him. He's living on the wild side. Going out of his mind. <laughs> he bought an orchid. When has 33 ever bought an orchid? <laughs> Somebody so check on this man. It's so too many second places, just you. <laughs> well, he wasn't there for all those. <laughs> yeah, but he knows he's about to be. <laughs> oh, God, he's already losing his mind. Are we sure it's him? Actually, now that I think about this, like, is that actually 33? <laughs> Bought an Orchid. 33. <laughs> Production, can we get in touch with the admins to make sure we've got the webcams on the right people? Bought an Orchid. <laughs> that, this is... We're entering a new era of Dota. I'll tell you that much. Crazy things today, man. It's like, you know, they, they got rid of the, the DPC and everybody's just losing their mind. <laughs> They're just going crazy. Just no more format. No more structure. I can do anything. You can, you can build an orchid. I can, I can build an orchid. <laughs> I don't have to build an aura. <laughs> Coil caught Mickey. Immediately tries to snap it, but the follow up Ooh. is there from the snowball of Mira. Man, 33 like, is behind. Oh, they got the puck on the lasso. Did get the puck, but is there enough damage to punish him in time? Orchid it just in time. Ooh, that orchid. Die underneath the tier two tower. That orchid. Shrapnel, so he can't immediately blink away or anything. Not that he has that because he's a carry puck. Yeah, he can't get out of there. Too fragile right now, and that's the third time that this brew has caught Itoro in, in this, this early game. Yeah. But it's done some work. We talked about uh, targeting uh, a player. 
talked yeah. about it, you know, targeting Amar in that first series. Uh, this definitely feels like Liquid have targeted Yotoro just a wee bit. I mean, you have to because they dodge this matchup, so you gotta take advantage of it, right? You gotta take advantage of the fact he's on an unconventional carry. He probably hasn't played it in a while. It's maybe throwing their game off a bit. If you can ruin his game even more, then you're setting yourself up for success. And somehow this sniper has found himself at the top, which is crazy to me. This is a hey. max shrapnel sniper who lost his lane in his one and three and got ganked, and he's top network. What? No assassinate. Like what? <laughs> he I was he, he max shrapnel, but no levels of assassinate. That's pretty funny. Where did all this gold come from? I actually don't understand. He didn't get the last hits. No, he's he has he one is kill. Only one kill. Yeah. Just farming up stacks on the triangle, man. I guess doing some work. Coil gonna stop that rolling thunder. Does that give Mira the escape? It does. Collapse hits him with the greaves, and he's good to go. Now they're gonna try and chase down heroes. Boxy. Weaving his way through the trees. Gonna try and duck away to the Ooh. side. They lost him somehow. He blinks. Later now they spot okay. him. Oh, no. <laughs> I think if he stayed there, he would have just lit. Yeah, I think he might have. He juked himself. He certainly did. Oh. Ooh. He should put in some work. Oh. Across oh. the force. Oh, he got him. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even get the last hit. Now he's got a level of assassinate. Who's counterpicking who now, son? This sniper, he's gonna be annoying, man. Like I was mentioning, they don't have a lot of any gap close that wants to gap close. Okay, if you can gap close him with the puck, you want to sit there as puck and right click the sniper? No. So th this is part of the problem, and he's gonna have Hurricane Pike plus the grenade. You can't really do that as Wind Ranger because he has a way to get through hmm. Wind Run. Mickey showing mercy. And. Do you think he actually would have hit him? Well, if he did it first. All right, assassinate. Bam! Oh! <laughs> the coldest blink dagger of 2024 has arrived. Oh my god, dude. That was a career ender. <laughs> that was a career. I mean, Buck, this man. By God, he just snapped that man's ankles. This man. God, I mean, he has two rings, but all they did was hasten his fall as Boxy cuts him down to size in a savage move. <laughs> man, it's a family. Simply sensational <laughs> move God. by Boxy. Damn. Your last move. Satanic. You know, there's a period of time where the community would, would always complain about casters overhyping things. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, that was actually the perfect. Wow! <laughs> wow! He dodges the decay! Wow! That's something more, though. Pushing this sniper farther up, man. Look good finding moves in this game that I didn't see, but they're finding them, man. Look at, look at this slow-mo. Whoa! We decaying one, son! <laughs> and then he had the lasso on the last second of the TP that's coming off cooldown. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful right we there. We just needed to pair that with the webcams. And All right, what's going on with this brew build, man? And like, I was... Oh, they clipped him. That's nice. Oh, he, he, got, he got lowered back down. Well, no, no, not six feet under. Oh, just testing. Yo, this this brew build is crazy, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's out of control, bro. It's not. It's really not that weird, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you? This brewmaster build is not weird. What have you? I don't. I have never seen these three items on a brewmaster in ten years of playing this game. <laughs> I can say that with a hundred percent certainty. Okay, okay, maybe the. <laughs> Like, orchid. <laughs> he has a mini aura drum. He has an orchid. And then he just has blink. Like, he's going to blink orchid somebody, drum hit him, and then... I mean, yeah, it actually sounds pretty good. No, sounds I think, nasty. Yeah. It could be, he's be brewed good. up, slamming your face with crit after crit. All right, we'll see how it works. But it looks... It's looking real wacky out here. He also... Wait a minute. He has... 
I mean, he's dead here, but he has a tier 2 token, but he hasn't used it for a long time now. Yeah, he did not like his options. Is it possible for tier 2 to all be worse than the, the sheep totem? No. There's no way. Five to all attributes. I mean, just purely on an attribute measure, maybe? He bought a dust. A glimmer. I mean, I can't look as I. It's out of control for me, man. I mean, actually, there's a fair number of tier two items that are kind of useless on Brewmaster. I mean, he must have rolled really bad. That must yeah, have been he, he had to have like Eyes Vizier, <laughs> Bullwhip, Philosopher's Stone, Grove Bow, and Whisper of the Dread. I mean, Grove Bow is still magic game for this Orchid, huh? Well, he chose it. Gossamer Cape. There's no way Gossamer's worse. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. I'm done talking about it. <laughs> it's like the Doom thing over. I don't want to talk about Doom anymore. Just watch. Two minutes from now, Avery's going to forget and he's going to talk about Brewmaster again. Oh, look at the smoke. A TP mid. So they're baiting the DP mid, trying to smoke him. Oh, he wants to get his Aghanim Scepter, and yeah, you bought it. But he's gonna live. Ah, he's oh, still he? stuck in the coil. He's he still dead, it. Avery. He snapped it. I, I don't think there was a way out of there for him. Coiled up. Nisha's still strong though. This, this is a fight that Liquid. They take it around the sniper. He, he's yeah, keeping strong. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Use that Pull void in. panda. Pull Dispel. him back in. Collapse if he gets enough mills. Oh, it kicks. Oh, they kick Wait, him what? forward. But he doesn't see collapse. He can't finish him off, and now he's gonna be shackled to death. How did he get kicked? He doesn't even have kick. Uh, he got four staffed and punched at the same Damn. time. <laughs> Team Spirit <laughs> out here making ags out of four scepters. <laughs> They're just too damn good. <laughs> the first agless tusk kick. <laughs> Dude, it looked like he got kicked. It really it did. Legit looked like he got kicked. <laughs> Whose force was that? I think more importantly, they killed Yatoro with just the supports. Yeah, yeah, but he got kicked, man. <laughs> I need to see that again, dude. I need to see this. It was just a four staff punch. Who? You've certainly seen that. I know, but who, it looked times. cool. But who forced him? That's what I want to know. I have to imagine like Boxy was trying to save him or something. Who do we blame? By the way, Collapse is having a hell of a game. I don't know if we mentioned it, but he is. He is killing fools out here. Another shackle on Mickey. What has happened? Such a good early game, and two or last, the last two or three deaths, he's got nothing off. Crumpled, thirty-three. Who oh, takes the illusion rune and gets out? I don't, this feels like it's just going spirits way, right? Like you have this sniper who's becoming a boss, but all three of these cores for spirit are just giga scaling right now, and they are, they have scary scale, really scary scale. Yeah, last time they had to scale through their supports. This time around, it's just through their triple core setup. Right? Yeah, all three of these cores are menaces in the late game. Very high damage output. You have to deal with all of them, and you're kind of relying on this sniper, with the majority of it on the side of Liquid. Yeah, I think one of the most obnoxious ones is going to be the fact that Puck will be able to put damage on Sniper when he has the coil without actually yep. man-fighting him, right? It's obnoxious. I mean, you're going to get kicked out of the coil, too, so... <laughs> True, can't forget <laughs> about the Agless kick. <laughs> this is when Sniper's still strong, though. I, I do think Liquid have... It's another game where they can get these Roshans and try and push the tempo for Spirit into bad fights into this Aegis. Abuse the fact that they still don't have a direct split answer and they don't have good gap close for this 2000 HP Sniper. Like, this is your window to try and take control of the map, get some objectives, get a team fight, build a net worth lead, and then let that carry you into the game. You do have the Spirit Siphon stolen on Insania as well. You cannot forget how well Liquid can use those stolen Spirit Siphons. You go back to that boxy Rubik play, where he killed three or four heroes with it. Yeah, it's in their blood. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But I think if this game goes another 15 minutes or so, and you're just looking at all three of these spirit scores continuing to scale. It's gonna get, it's gonna get dicey, man. 
Toro's gonna go uh, Sanj next. Sanj Kaya. Radiance oh, yeah, he's a Giga Chad. Under attack. Okay. It's, that's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. I mean, the status res is pretty annoying. You have these stuns like lift and stuff, which aren't the greatest duration. Trying to get some vision of what's going on. Team Spirit have this really nice double ward setup in this bottom lane. Again. One behind the tower and one in front of it. Spirit controlling the vision and this is Liquid's Aegis period. You gotta remember that. Everything that's happening right now is Spirit just wasting this timer. If you don't get a good fight out of this, I'm gonna be pretty sad about it. Counterpoint though, that is three aggressive wards from Team Spirit that they are no longer able to play around. Sure, but they're happy to trade this up. They're just going to the sides of the map. They ran out that Spirit Siphon timer on the Rubik as well. He had four charges. He was ready to rumble. Two minutes of age is gone. You're not finding the fight. They're splitting it again. I mean, yeah, you can kill oh, this. This has to be illegal. Can't allow this man to do this to you. Oh, he's out. Assassinate? He's out. That was incredibly heads up. Well, they kept the creep wave alive so they can hit the tier two. Man, the ratting is... It's adding up here because the catch on the side of Liquid isn't that amazing either. They do have vision of Yutoro right now. Hey, you gotta keep trying to find him. They're gonna try and make a move. It's Leave tough. Nisha here and have the other four go hunt him down. Will they, they have... Saw him up oh, we just used the warp. That is... Oh no, that's not perfect at all. Boxy win for him. He was perfectly positioned to catch him after the orb, but now it's going to get a little bit weird. He's going to jump to his orb here, gets hit by the telekinesis, and pulls him into the orchids. They got him. If they bring all... If they bring everybody, it's fairly reliable. But again, you're, you have to bring four, right? And the problem is you get your other lane shoved. You have to go back. You're not getting that big team fight that you want. And I think Spirit are okay trading this for your Aegis period. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not great, you know, Yator would prefer not to die there, for sure. I mean, whether or not we say this period was a success for Team Spirit, I, I think still relies on this last two minutes of the Aegis, Good. right? Yes. And they did get that, they got a Yator kill, they got the mid-tier two. It's not going the worst for Liquid, but they want more. Also, just cheese on Mikke shouldn't be underestimated, because I don't really see a situation where he can't get it off. Sure. The majority of the time he's died has been at the end of a shackle or in a coil. And he should pretty reliably be able to get cheese off unless he, you know, dies within the duration of that shackle shot, which is possible. But that should help him a lot. You you commit on him with the coil, he cheeses at the end. That's as good as an Aegis here. He went boots a try. Man, 33 is just... This guy's, this guy's insane, man. Insane in a good way? Or yeah, of course. Oh. MKB for Nisha. He is he's willing to lay down the law. Dyer's bottom tower Are they gonna go fallen. straight high ground? Yeah, force it. You, last you have seconds. to you have to force somebody back at a minimum. You can't just let this age just expire without dictating something. Boxy might try and get the pick. I, mean, I think if Spirit give you a jump here, you take it, honestly. Yeah, before backdoor protection comes up, he shall lay a bit more damage, forces out the glyph. Another round of creeps is coming, but there is the cut here in the bottom lane. So this wave is kind of final if they want to keep a high ground push and they, they just say it's not worth it. 20 seconds left on the Aegis, can't afford to take that team fight while it's expiring. Radiance Courier so back they go. And I got two couriers off that positioning as well. He will die for it. Stole Snowball, which could be a very interesting spell in the next team fight. Aegis expires. Team Spirit, we're looking for a fight off of that one, but they've been found. 
Insania got the vision on him, and now 33 well positioned to be able to take the team fight. Coil put on to make it Wait, here. They collapse. need to be able to help Nisha, though. Nisha's yeah, being run down by Collapse, then Death Prophet with a BKB has just the run down the sniper, and nobody from Team Spirit can save him. Oh. Meanwhile, they're trying to go for the kill collapse. on Yator. Toro, but they couldn't actually get the chain stunts out. 33 is still trying to hunt down these supports. They got him. They got him, yeah, but their their other side is being demolished by this Death Prophet. They Collapse. go back to it now, but they've got no other cores to play with. Fortunately, an Orchid will seal the deal on Yotoro, so it's not all bad. Yeah, 33 collapsed. Doing an offline clinic in this game, man. They're both just 1v4ing the fight, while the mids and the carries are just crying and dying. <laughs> Offlane's putting in the work, man. His DP is ginormous now. He's about to overtake Sniper. He never even went the Shivas. That's the crazy part. I think Shivas on this hero is your highest EHP item. It's yeah. your way to like gap close on the chase and make sure you stick on heroes. I would argue it's why the hero is good right now. Yeah, I, I feel the same, but he just never even went for it. And it has not hindered him at all. He's just been a monster. No Bruce split. This is pretty aggressive. Yeah. But I guess no Exo. Shivas does get delivered as we... No Tier 1s or Tier 2s. He has the cheese. Oh, Mega Shard. Okay, Snowball, and he's got a blink, right? Not going to be able to get it out, though. Uh... Why do you lasso? For funsies? Yeah. I, I respect that. He's got 50 seconds. It's a low cooldown. You know, I I just want to see what 33 builds next. <laughs> you are <laughs> infatuated <laughs> with 33's item build. I just I I know I could not predict it. If you gave me 30 guesses. Uh huh. Behold. Every coin helps. Honestly, I wouldn't mind Bloodthorn since he has this orc. It, it, it does a decent amount of damage, even if it's just the sniper hitting the target. And there's no dispel on the puck still. If you catch Yatoro with this Orchid, I mean, he's just gone. Maybe maybe that is an argument not to get it, though. Like, maybe the Orchid is still enough. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like there is that. I feel like the Orchid versus the Bloodthorn, there isn't that much of a difference. I mean, honestly, if you think about what's happening in these fights, Liquid need a way to keep the sniper away from the death prophet. Right? Yeah. That's their biggest problem. DP BKBs take some weird angle on a coiled sniper or whatever, and then that fight's over because you cannot kill the death prophet. Got Once him again. Found him. So what do you do in this situation? You got to fight it out. He gun stands gun. and fights, stands his ground, but it's okay, not was, good enough. Yeah, that was that was pitiful. Me, Pathetic. <laughs> they need a bigger gun. But again, what do you? How do you itemize on Liquid to help your sniper? You have Tempt and a Shackle oh. World returns the favor. I'll show you how it's how done. How you doing, bud? Coming back down from the Yules, rolls it up. Does he have a chance to be able to get off the Rolling Thunder? He does. So with the buyback coming in from the Rubik, things are a little weird. 33 is just going to TP out. A little bit of a close call there, but... It's a sniperless fight. Insania bought back for it. It's just a bit of a wasted buy, because I don't think you're ever turning that fight around. You cannot win a fight in this game without Sniper. Well, the There's good thing no for Liquid is Roshan isn't up yet, so they couldn't use yeah. the Exorcism to immediately True. claim it. Good bait. Good bait. Conceptual Pure bait. Pure luck. Pure you think luck. About it. And they're going to smoke right back in. Yeah, no they, don't, they don't know it's not up. They don't know oh that the Team Spirit God. is not inside the pit right now. They lose Mickey just like that. And another time where 33 has his primal split, but really can't put it to use. I mean, the sniper's still dead. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Okay, so what does Team Liquid in general, maybe the Brewmaster, but just in general, what can they build to either threaten the Death Prophet or protect the sniper? That's the thing. They have four staffs. They have glimmers on their supports. They just have to be in a good formation. So you think so their, their problem is positioning, not items? Yeah, I think so. 
I think they're getting too over anxious on 33 going in and like 33 is going in. He's orking some puck. He's killing a wind ranger and the supports everybody's going in with him and they're oh yeah 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 let's kill him let's kill him let's kill him. Mm -hmm. And then meanwhile, collapse is just like walking in your the back door of your house. Yo, what's up? And he just kills your your carry on the couch. I mean. You just can't get too over anxious. Another DD for Laurel. I don't know. Tag team makes short work of this row, Sean. Team Liquid is just outside of the pit, but they won't get here in time. 33. Angel Dragon and Scepter Cheese already picked up. 33 is in deep, and he gets bursted no, down. No, Cheese. So does Yatoro. That's true. One for one trade off here. He died so fast. He, he did, man. He got double crit or something? Like, where did all that damage come from? I think he got double crit by the sniper. He doesn't even have a crit. He got double MKB MKB'd. proc. Yeah. Double mails from Duel. Well, fight continues. Pushing back. Laurel, Laurel can't get close to the sniper. Now Hurricane Pike pushes Collapse back a little bit farther. Hit him with the Shivas while Boxy's trying to get away. He's got the, the high ground. Ball. He does have the high ground, and Team Spirit do not want to challenge that. Radiance Middle Tower what can you do attack. against Sniper with the high ground? Nothing. Yeah, Toro did not take that Aegis, did not take that cheese, pays the price. But he has two other carries in this game, so it doesn't matter. Lotus Orb, nice pickup here from uh, Maposhka. We'll see if he's able to put it to use to stop Boxy's initiation. Nice blank. Gleipnir, shackle shot it, but Mickey. Hits the chain stun. That is not quite Sniper's enough. Going Nobody ham. finished him off. Okay. They didn't actually... Uh, okay, they got him on the, the so respawn This is a good formation now. for Liquid. Laurel immediately pops his BKB, but look at that sniper damage, man. It demolished him. Eats the cheese. 33. Can it get off the primal split? There's Can't. just too much damage. Too many disables. And now Collapse once again finds his mark. The coil snaps on Nisha. He's desperately trying to get himself away. He's got the grenade. Can he push himself over the cliff away? Once again, the force step the puts kick. him into the enemy. The kick. <laughs> the axeless kick. There's just not enough force staffs in the world. The hero's way too fast. Death Prophet with all this MS, almost 500. Clap's just running him down. Like a dog to a bone. He gnaws on his corpse. <laughs> 6, 1, and 13. Yeah, what happened if they didn't have any gap close? I mean, Clap's has just been able to man up against this sniper, it seems like, without a much of a problem. Yeah. I don't know, man. He just made this hero look like trash. <laughs> you, just, you, you just walk at him. <laughs> There's also no BKB pierce on the side of Liquid. Yeah. Like, it's something that hurts him a lot, because when Clavs pops, it's, he just has free reign. He's way too tanky. And not getting Bruce Wood off there, that was like the nail in the coffin. Yeah. And that might be a very different fight if you get that Bruce Wood. You can toss this DP, you can create more space for the Sniper, control some heroes with dispels. None of that happens if you just get bursted. I mean, as you said, it was... Uh, Pretty dream, uh, dream setup. Sniper sitting on a high ground. Yes. That's about as good as it's going to get. heroes sitting in front. Like, they had the right formation. They had the utility to bail them out. But then again, one more thing goes wrong. Your brew dies before split, and then the whole, the whole system crashes down. 21,000 net worth lead for Team Spirit. Well in the driver's seat. And probably not going to be giving that up anytime soon. They will have the kind of problem where this time around it's a little bit harder to go high ground against Team Liquid when they're alive, right? Sniper plus Bat Rider. I don't know, man. I, I, do. I think Collapse is just going to go. <laughs> yeah. It's going to hit 25. He's just going to go. The uh, ni nice neutral item pickup for uh, Yatoro. He got that Ancient Guardian. So 50 damage on his Aghanim Scepter when he just drops it on somebody. Any bonus damage is going to do a lot, but if they push into the high ground, he can just jump into that uh, Ancient Radius, get an extra 50 damage, drop the coil on somebody. And he just picked up his Parasma, so that's when the damage really gets out of control. Yeah. All the Maelstrom procs. Getting amped up even more. And he got an axe. So that's why his net worth is so damn high right now. Yeah, got it from the last row, Sean. Yeah, he has ag, shard, plus. This, I mean, this is where Pucks is fully online. 
you're not really missing anything. You can slot one more thing in, you finish your Mjolnir, but he's going to shred some kids out here. Who is standing against this coil? I don't see it. You don't really have anything. I guess Satanic for Nisha. That's, that's your last hope and prayer here. Yeah. Divine Kinda Rapier. Needs. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's nothing else to go in this game. Divine and pray. Spray and pray. The new uh, 33's next item would be uh, nothing. I saw him debating Refresher. Yeah, he's been sitting on the same 3 to 4k gold for like 10 minutes now. Oh, well. Everybody they haven't won a team fight for 10 minutes. It's rough out there, man. Did you go back for the wand? On who? <laughs> On the brew. He went back for a wand. Oh, I swear. he had a dust there before, Yeah, he, right? he had dust and lotus. I do not think he had that wand. But maybe I'm just losing my mind. Uh, those things are not mutually exclusive. Definitely have been losing your mind. Well, level 25 and Mjolnir for Yatoro, so... Dyer. If he wasn't dealing the deeps before, he is surely dealing them now. And another reason why Satanic is really the only option for this sniper. If he gets coiled, he just kind of has to stand and fight. I just don't see him killing all three of these cores. I, I see him killing like one and a half out of three. Yeah. Go and fight me. The, the core they really need to kill, though, is this Death Prophet. And that has been... I, I think that's the hardest core to kill. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sitting at 3,300 HP with uh, 36 armor. Yeah, he's got Trickster Cloak on top of it. Has, yeah, 57% armor. magic resistance. It's brutal. 69% physical resistance. Nice. 17% evasion. Nice. 20 HP charge up the hill. per second and just going for it. This is the best fight for Liquid positioning wise. And once again, Nisha is sitting in the front here. His team uh, is I mean, not creating okay. the space for him. Yeah, so that's like that's what a 30k gold lead looks like. You can just walk high ground and then go goodbye. The fight really doesn't matter from here because Liquid cast all the spells you want. You're probably not killing anything without your only damage deal. Yatoro's just showing Yatoro knows it, too. He's going to keep going here. They try to go for the punish off of the buyback. It doesn't happen. 33 is going to be losing all of his pandas, and if he doesn't, he just comes back to an instant death anyway. This one got out of control. Somewhere around that, like, 25, 30-minute mark. Honestly, that second Roche, you get it on the sniper, but honestly, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that Aegis. I don't think you have the lead you need at that point to assert the sniper going higher. 